Hello there again fellow viewers, I'm back Bohemia House for another session. Today I thought since I've been breeding a lot lately and I've showed you Storm, I thought it might be nice to have a change and do some drawing. Now I don't know what your favourite animals are, but my favourite animal is actually a penguin. So I'm going to teach you how to draw one of them today. My own design actually. Um, so all you will need is um, a pen for the outliner. If you don't have a dark one, it doesn't matter. It just makes it um, stand out, boldness. And then you'll need a lighter shade, um, or grey maybe, or lighter black. And I'll show you what that's for in a bit. Okay, so we're going to start off by drawing. It needs to be quite big. A round circle like that. You can pause this video at any time. So if I'm a bit fast, um, it should be step by step, but then you need to draw another eye, quite big again, touching it, okay? And then after you do that, touching it once again, you're going to draw a triangle, okay? Like I said, you can pause the video, then underneath it, you're going to draw another triangle. You don't have to do this, but this creates the effect of the beak, like it's eating something. So, then in the eyes, you're going to draw a small circle in the top corner and an even bigger one at the bottom. Okay? And you're going to do the same in the other eye. Now it can be looking whichever way you want, so it can be looking up, it can be looking to the side, it can be looking down, but in this case mine's going to be looking to the side. Okay. Now after you've done that, this is the hairstyle, but this is the one I like to go with, but then again that's just me, so you can choose your own. I think it looks quite cute. And then after that, let's see, it doesn't need to be too big, so it doesn't matter if it's small or bigger. Um, I tend to do mine quite small, um, but then again, it's up to you. So you need to draw, like, once you've done the hair, draw two lines coming off it to make that effect. A bit like in the part, but not. Okay? Um, and then after that, um, the cuter you want it to be, you want big eyes, you want it to do a good effect, which I'll show you in a second. And it, you want it to kind of be like quite small if you want the effect of a baby penguin. If not, go ahead and make it big. It's your, it's completely your choice. And then you're going to come in and curve it. That creates the effect of the flippers. Okay. And then, after you've done that, this is the bit, hopefully you should be able to get. You're going to draw, from where you've drawn that line, you're going to draw a line down like that. Okay? And you're going to draw the same on the other side so it meets up. Just like that. And once you've done that, going to draw the feet of course so you want to draw it almost like a w or an m whichever way you want like that you're just going to join the curves up you can do the feet any way you like yeah and after you've done that we're pretty much finished now i'm not sure mine's going to work how um i've done mine this time um you can keep practicing so it really doesn't matter this, I mean this is your first attempt, so it's, I'm sure it'll be great. Um, so you're going to draw like an oval shape, just in between its hands. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to try, um, I'll do it this way if I were you. So I draw two lines down then to create the effect of a bowl. Okay. Probably should have done mine. It almost looks like a mushroom too, but that just creates the roundness. So then, inside it, 
like I say, you don't have to do this bit. It's just something I find quite cool to do. Well, what's Penguin's favourite food? Do you know? Okay, I'll tell you. Fish. So in there, you're going to draw a little fish. If you don't know how to draw a fish, it's literally just half a circle and then two flippers. Okay? I struggled with it at first too, so don't worry. Um... Once you've done that, if you want, you can colour in the pot, you can decorate it, whatever colour you like. And then the most important bit, you don't have to use black, so don't worry, you can use blue, you can use green, you can use any eye colour. You're going to colour in the eyes, okay? Now, before you do this, this is very important, don't colour in the circles you've done. Just colour like that all around, okay? Now, this may take a while. Just because of the pen I'm using. Shouldn't be too long though. You can always fast forward it or rewind or whatever you want to do. Whilst I'm doing that, um, I'm going to show you something. Okay, there we go, that's one eye done. So it just creates that cuteness. Then you can do the other eye. Um, whilst you're doing that, just because I think I'm being a bit slow, um, you're going to use your either your light grey, um, you ideally want a light colour, so you could do light black if you want, but that's technically grey. So I'm going to show you how to create shade. Like I say again, you don't have to do this, but it makes it look realer. Okay? So what you're going to do... You're going to draw very lightly just around the flippers to start off with. Can you see that one? I'm not sure if it's your right or your left, but the one that's slightly shaded. Um, you're going to make it like um, so it goes round and it just creates that shade. And you're going to do the same on the other one. And once you've done that, you're going to go down for the body. You see, it's already starting to create that shade. Yeah? I actually taught my friend how to do this the other day. Um, she doesn't know how to draw a penguin, so... They're quite easy. I mean, it's simple. Simple, but effective. Like I said, you can draw it as big as you want, as small as you want. It really doesn't matter. It's your drawing. There's no mistakes. It's unique in your way. So it really doesn't matter. And then, once you've done that, see, it creates the grey. So you can just do it around the head. You don't have to do the hair. It doesn't necessarily need doing. And then I'm going to colour in mine other eye. nearly there. Okay, there we go. Both eyes are coloured in now, and you've got that shade effect. Now, I um, have gold here, because I don't um, have any oranges or yellows on me, so I'm just going to do gold for it. And you can go on with, ideally, orange or yellow, but any colour you really have. You can make it up, you can do a different penguin if you want. You don't have to use the same colours as me. This is just what I recommend. But then again, I'm not you, am I? So, it creates that. Um, you can use anything for the bowl. You can do a pattern. You can do just a colour. In this case, I think I'm going to go for snowflakes because penguins are quite... They, you know, they live in the cold. Um, I'm born in winter and winter is my favourite month. Um, but it's just really nice. So, I've done snowflakes in mine. I mean, I'm pretty much done now, so you can do the beak. What I recommend is, one, well, you could always do a fish in the beak too, but since you've done one in the bowl, it, it's your choice. Um, for the beak, you might want to go darker on the top and then lighter. 
um, for the bottom, just so you can tell it's that effect of the mouth. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, like I said, use any colours you like. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my video. Like I said, I'm hoping to up that number of the subscribers. Um, tune in for more. Um, there might be another one um, now or later on today. So I'll be doing, I might do another one with Storm, my hamster too. And well, the penguin's really done, isn't it? So thank you. Um, and like I said, please subscribe. See you soon. Bye.